Hello there, YouTube. It's Ruby3. Back with another kicking, you guessed it, action figure review. Oh, today we're reviewing one that's a big old boy. He's a big old boy. It is the Jurassic Park Hammond Collection. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now, I'm kind of awkwardly placed for this one. I had to change my setup a lot just because he's such a big boy, and that's what I had to do to be able to really fit him in frame. I know this looks like the same setup, but it's not. It's, it's completely different. Look how far away from the camera and stuff it is now. Very different setup, but we have a very cool figure today. This wasn't one I originally planned on getting. It wasn't one I really wanted in my collection. I'm kind of a guy that tries to avoid buying a lot of T-Rex figures because there's just so many out there. There's so many choices for T-Rexes. The only real T-Rex figure on my wish list that's just a normal T-Rex is a Jurassic Park 3 T-Rex because I didn't have it as a kid and I have a lot of FOMO. <laughs> but then my partner was like, this is on an Amazon lightning sale. It's like 27 bucks. It's normally 55. You have to get it. And he did eventually talk me into it, and I'm glad he did, because it's actually a really awesome figure. Now, let's do articulation first. As you just saw, he's got kind of like a ratchet joint there on the jaw with these, like, rubbery membranes. Magnificent work. The tongue articulates. It can't, it can only be there or there. Uh, you can put it all the way up, but it's going to fall. Uh, but yeah, lots of good detail here. No uh, nasal passages or anything, and the back of his throat is blocked. But it's like a cool cover piece. I really like the uh, engineering of this mouth a lot. I think it's really cool. Uh, a lot of good movement here on the head and neck. This is also a rubbery covering to help with articulation, which I think is nice. He really reminds me of this big... Spinosaurus figure from Jurassic Park 3 I had as a kid. I wish I still had it. It was huge and it had a lot of rubber on it. Oh, if you're selling one, let me know, because I'd be interested in having it to go with this guy. His arms... Uh, I mean, they don't need to move much because they're T-Rex arms, but you can see the joint is in a place where you might not really expect it to be. Uh, but So I don't really do a lot of the up and down on this guy. But he, he rotates pretty well, but the up and down is really tight on mine. You know, you also got that elbow bend and rotation. Rotation on the wrist with a little bit of forward and back, but not much. Uh, and this, most people display their T-Rexes, and a lot of pop culture displays T-Rexes with the hands like this, but they are, that's, that's accurate. That's biologically accurate, is with them turned like that. All righty. And there's also this big old joint for this big old boy. That's a good one, too. He has a lot of really good articulation. The legs move pretty well. You can get him in some cool poses. He's got a double knee bend. You know, nice articulation on the feet. Really nice articulation on the feet. Actually, quite factually, you can get him in a lot of good poses. I just kind of have mine in a standard walking pose. No peg holes or anything, but with these big old wide feet, you don't, don't really need them. You know, I was told he had a fully segmented tail. That's not true, but I don't mind. Uh, <laughs> I was just told that by, like, a, a dude, not by anyone actually doing the figure, because, I mean, you've got these two joints here, and then it turns to a bendy tail, much like the concavenator that I reviewed before, and I don't have a lot of these Hammond Collection figures, but they seem to have pretty decent bendy tails, no holes on the bottom, you know how lots of that bendy stuff will have the holes in it. Uh, it looks like it articulates here where it changes to bendy, but it does not. It's, it's just kind of where a piece is attached, which might be for the best. Who knows? It's probably sturdier, so it holds better when you bend, I'd wager. Now, how about detail and paint? I actually quite like it. I've heard a lot of people complain about the feet. They don't like the feet. I have no trouble with the feet. They're big old stomping feet. You know, big old wide feeties, fully detailed on the bottom. That's impressive, you know? They don't have to do that, but it's cool that they did. And it really helps him stand on his own, too. A lot of beautiful browns and speckles all over him, but they aren't like symmetrical speckles. See, like the speckles on this jaw aren't the same as the ones on this side, which is very nice. I really like the paint of the teeth. It's got like a slight wash on it. He looks really good. There's even a little paint down the center of the tongue. Kind of hard to tell in the lighting here, 
but it is there. There's impressive paint on him. The only real complaint is the eyes. And I mean, the way you're looking at them now, they look pretty good, right? They did this thing where it's like a clear eye and then on a part in the back, there's like the pupil painted on it. And you can see if you do it just right, it kind of looks like the eye follows you. You see that? That is a cool feature, but it only works at certain angles. So if you're kind of looking at him uh, from some of these other angles, it, you kind of lose his pupil a little. So you got to adjust him just right. And then there are parts where it kind of almost diffuses the pupil a little. So when you're looking at him at the right angle, the eyes are magnificent. But at the wrong angle, they look a little odd. But at the right angle, they work so damn well. What a cool pig. A little nose bumps. All right, now let's get into everybody's favorite part, size comparisons. Once again, this girl is, like you can see, she's pretty gigantic. So we're going to have to lay her down here. And I'm going to have to go like under the camera to kind of lay stuff out. First up, I need to compare her with some other Hammond collection figures. Here she is with one from, and she's from the original Jurassic Park, but here's one from Jurassic World, uh, The Fallen Kingdom. This was just a prop dinosaur in the film, like within the story, it was a statue. The Concavenator we mentioned earlier. Now, I don't know how these two dinosaurs would have scaled in prehistory. I don't, but they did not live together to my knowledge. Like at all, I'm pretty positive. I'd say 99.9 .9 repeating percent positive. Ah, uh, but uh, that's pretty cool, right? I think it works. Like, if you have them displayed together in your collection, that'll look good. And then, here's... I reviewed that one relatively recently. Here's one I reviewed quite recently. It is the Hammond Collection Doctor. Ellie Sattler. God, that's, that's a single gulp right there. <laughs> that is a light snack. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dr. Sattler. You're going to have to... Uh, you're going to have to get out of here. <laughs> you're going to be in trouble. And then another figure from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Uh, this isn't a Hammond collection, but it's kind of engineered like one, if that makes sense. It's just the Fallen Kingdom big ol' Indoraptor. And that's a cool scaling. I think the Indoraptor would have actually been much smaller than this. I've only seen that film once, admittedly. I was not a fan. But, uh, hey, I think it looks cool. <laughs> that's good enough for me. All right, yoink. Yoink on out of there. Now, how about we show her with some of the more educational dinosaur toys. Some of them, they won't all be dinosaurs. Oh, but sorry. First, I actually have to show one more Jurassic franchise figure. It is the Jurassic World Dominion Dilophosaurus from the Clayer and Dilophosaurus 2-pack. I actually like that a lot. I think that works quite well. Yeah, that works quite well. Okay, that's a good scaling. So these kids' Jurassic World Dominion figures might work just fine. That's the only one I have, though, currently. Got it on Clarence, and I did review it. Everything you just saw, I have reviewed, and everything you're about to see in size comparisons, I have also reviewed. So if you want to see any of these figures in their full glory, check out those reviews. Okay, next up, how about Safari Limited? Safari Limited is one I really like. Uh, out of the educational toys, I think it is the one that actually is really educational. So here's something that's not a dinosaur, or here she is, sorry. It's actually a Crocodilomorph, the Caprosuchus. That's cool. I think that looks... That might even be accurate. I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I'm very knowledgeable about dinosaurs. I actually work with fossils for a living. Most of the fossils aren't dinosaurs, admittedly. But... Huh. Sizes of these creatures aren't really my forte. I'm more of... My knowledge is more on how their biology worked and how they were fossilized. So let's take you away. I thought it looked cool, though. Here's another one. How about the Schleich Majungasaurus? Majungasaurus was the ruler of Madagascar. Big ol' theropod, big ol' horn on top of its head. 
And I really like the Schleich figures because they're really colorful, and I also think they're made of a good, durable, nice-feeling material. I think that's a really cool scaling, too. That looks dope to me. Very cool. And lastly, I'm going to show one from another line I collect. I very rarely get figures in this line because they're so expensive, but at the same time, they're very nicely made display pieces. My partner actually really likes this brand a lot. It is Papo, and today we're showing her off with the Papo Green Running T-Rex, and a lot of Papo dinosaurs are straight up just unlicensed Jurassic franchise figures, and this Green Running T-Rex is very much that. See, it has similar stripes to the Jurassic Park T-Rex, and they do make it in a brown color, and they make a standing version that's in the pose from the end of the movie and stuff. Wow. That would make a decent juvenile. Like, if you wanted to have a juvenile T-Rex with this T-Rex, that would actually work perfectly, because they have a lot of a similar design, because once again, this is basically a Jurassic World knockoff. <laughs> or I guess Jurassic Park knockoff, but they do have Jurassic World knockoffs as well. Like, they have a knockoff blue and stuff. But, this would work great if you just wanted, like, a juvie, especially if you got the brown one. Yeah, that would make a great juvenile version. Wow. I really like that. I really like that. Yoink. Now, if you've watched a lot of my dinosaur toy reviews, you know that I like to compare them with Daikaiju. Yes, and I'm going to show them with a couple Playmates Kaiju, specifically because uh, these are some that were relatively available in the States recently, and I make these videos in the States in English. So, first off, here is uh, <laughs> our T-Rex with... The Godzilla Singular Point Godzilla Phileas. Is that its name? Terrestis. Godzilla Terrestis. Phileas is the anime one. Godzilla Terrest. 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 Terrestis. Terrestis. <laughs> Dang it, I messed myself up. But yeah, it's one of my favorite uh, Godzilla forms for the form changing Godzillas. And obviously, this Godzilla is so small compared to a T Rex. I mean, this form of Godzilla was small for a Godzilla, but. You know, uh, still, a T-Rex wouldn't tower over it like this. That being said, I display my dinosaurs and kaiju all together. And I like to show kaiju with them because, one, kaiju are heavily inspired by dinosaurs, like Godzilla was, two specifically, one of them being the T-Rex. Godzilla was almost a mutated T-Rex in Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, but they changed it to an original dinosaur that they made. Uh... And I, I, display them I display them together. If you like kaiju, you're probably into dinosaurs and vice versa, honestly. So, I display mine together. I'm sure there's other people out there that do. And another kaiju that's actually known for fighting dinosaurs. It is the Playmates 2017 King Kong from the A Monsterverse. Now, I know the Monsterverse Kong does not fight dinosaurs. The Monsterverse Kong fights other kaiju. But there are many versions of Kong that fight dinosaurs in multiple continuities, multiple movies and comics, etc., shows and whatnot. But this is a pretty easy to get Kong. And I think they look pretty good. I really like this Kong figure. I really like this T-Rex figure. They'll look cool in a display together. If you wanted this Kong to be like a Gigantopithecus or something, I think this would look pretty cool. Alrighty. Well, that is it for size comparisons. Uh... Once again, this T-Rex is a large gal. Ooh, look upon her. Look upon her! All right, so what are my final thoughts on the Mattel Jurassic Park Hammond Collection? Tyrannosaurus Rex. She's really a beautiful figure with some really cool engineering, especially the engineering in the head, I think, is pretty magnificent. The eyes don't work exactly the way I think they were meant to, but I can see what they tried to do. Uh, I watched one other reviewer talk about this figure, and I think he was a little harsher on the eyes than I was. Uh, it was one my partner showed me. I don't remember the name of the YouTuber. I'm sorry. Normally I'd shout him out. But, uh, yeah. I think it's a really cool figure. Uh, I really wouldn't have wanted to pay 55 bucks for it. If you see it for 27 like I did, pick her up. 27 is a steal for her. Like, seriously, they're gonna come slap cuffs on me. That's how good of a deal I got on this gal. 
for 55 I think I'd still be happy with the figure, just from the quality of it. It's just, I try not to get too many T-Rexes, because I, I have so many already. But I think this will keep me pretty satisfied uh, on the T-Rex uh, <laughs> on, on market for a while. She's really nice. So that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below uh, and whatnot. I got Twitter. And Instagram is really where I post the most. I'm not even on Twitter that much. But I'll see you all next time. And if you want to buy some figures from me, I have a physical store and an eBay store. But I'll see you next time. Bye for now.